I'm not good enough. Everyone else knows more than me. I really don't deserve to be here. Round and round the stories go. Sound familiar? This is the Everyday Storyteller. I'm Hilary Salzman, a confident, talented business storyteller who, despite helping hundreds of business owners to tell their story, still from time to time wonders when I'm going to get caught out. Today, I want to talk to you about the stories in your minds that stop you from moving forward. The things that you have on repeat in your head like a stuck record. You know, the stories that are so real and so vivid, you never think to question them, despite them regularly holding you back. To help you navigate this, let's chat through some of the common challenges we as female business owners might face. And first up, it's a goodie, traditional, lovely, old imposter syndrome. Ah, that lovely feeling of not deserving or being capable of success. It can impact anyone, but especially women. Your own personal stories, the ones you tell in your head, may well have contributed to your self-doubt or feelings of inadequacy. But instead of leaning into your own self-destructive hype... Why not try and recognise that your achievements and abilities are valid? Spend time to focus on your skills, experiences and the value you bring to your customers and tell these stories instead. Surround yourself with a supportive network that can provide encouragement, give you a cheer and help you challenge those self-limiting beliefs. Next up, it's gender biases. Unfortunately, Bias and stereotypes still exist in many industries. Podcast is definitely one of those. Your stories over the years may have shaped perceptions about what is expected of you or what roles you should fulfil. Try confronting those biases head on by challenging stereotypes and assumptions. Showcase your expertise, your competence and your leadership skills instead. Focus on the quality of your work and let your accomplishments speak for themselves. Now, as a female business owner, you may well have faced unique challenges, shall we say, in balancing personal and professional responsibilities. Your internal stories may have included experiences of juggling multiple roles or struggling to find work-life balance. Instead, try setting realistic expectations for yourself and establish boundaries to protect your personal time and well-being. Delegate tasks, seek support from those around you, and prioritise self-care. Remember, taking care of yourself allows you to show up more effectively in your business, and this is what your customers need. Society often expects women to be more accommodating and less assertive in business settings, shall we say. Your stories may have influenced how you approach negotiation or assertiveness. I know mine certainly have. Instead, try cultivating confidence in advocating for yourself and your business. Practice being a good communicator. Actively develop negotiation skills. Seek out training or mentorship opportunities if they exist. And surround yourself with other people who value your input and treat you as an equal party. And finally, building a strong network is essential for business success. But your internal stories may have affected your comfort level in networking situations in the past. Try to challenge your discomfort by actively seeking networking opportunities. I know that sounds bonkers, but it is a really good idea to face these fears head on. Find events, organisations where there are people like you build genuine relationships based on shared interests and shared experiences and support each other in your businesses. Collaboration is a great way to collectively challenge those stories in your head and move forward. Remember, your stories are really powerful tools that can shape your mindset and impact your actions. Be aware of any self-limiting beliefs or narratives that might hinder your progress. Reframe your internal stories to empower yourself, celebrate your accomplishments and challenge traditional expectations. 
Embrace your unique experiences and your strengths as a female business owner and let them propel you forward in achieving your goals rather than holding you back. Thanks for listening.